guys welcome back now in the previous tutorial i gave you an assignment where i told you to insert a new school record and uh, using a json request rather than an xml so i hope you guys have completed that assignment this is just for you to verify if your solution is correct so now here what i'm going to do is i will go ahead and uh, create a new request here and it's going to be a post request and I'm going to create a new school record. So I will replace with the school object. So here I'm going to say school underscore underscore C. And then the header that I will be passing would be the authorization header. And uh, this is going to be the value. Bearer is the type of the token. And then with the bearer, I'm going to pass in the access ID. And this is the access ID. So let's just go ahead and uh, access token. Sorry. This is the access token. I'm going to go ahead and uh, paste it over here so this is for the authorization now in the body i'm going to create a json request uh, rather than it's easy to create an xml so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say that i'm creating a new school record and uh, here i will provide in all the information that i need so let's say i wanted to provide the name of the school and we will call this as frisco high school this is the name of the school and i'm going to go ahead and close this let's say i also want to provide the fee for the school so let's say the fees uh, i'm not sure about the field so let's go back to the school and click on edit object and here you will get all the fields and the relationships so fees this is going to be the api name so i'm going to use that over here and i'm going to just go ahead and say control v and let's say the fee for the school is 500 dollars. and then here this is going to be the closing tag similarly let's say i wanted to pass the uh, other information let's say school email address so here i will go back and paste that field api name over here and then here i'll say frisco at gmail.com okay and let me just go ahead and say frisco high school at gmail.com this is their email id and then let's just go ahead and close the tag here and then the next thing is if you want to pass in the phone number you can do that so let me just go ahead and copy this field label the api name and then paste it over here and then provide the phone number as well 789-654-3333 and this is going to be the school phone number so now i've provided all this information but i asked you to create a json request so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to this free formatter which converts my xml into json so i'm just going to go ahead and paste it over here and then ask it to convert it and here you go it automatically converted saved me time i'll go back to my body of this message and i convert it and put it here as json format and then i will change the body type from xml to json now if i go ahead and hit the send button it said that this is the new record that it created the response came as 201 which is good now if i go back to the school records here so let me just go back and if i go to the schools you will see a new school got created called frisco high school and this is the fee for the school this is the email address and the phone and this is the name of the school so you were able to create a new school record as well now in the next tutorial we will create a custom rest web services so we will see how to create a custom rest web services because so far we have been using the existing apis the rest apis that have been already given to you by salesforce all we did was we called them from postman but in the next tutorial we will actually go ahead and see how to create your own custom rest service okay so we will go ahead and talk about that in the next tutorial so i will see you then thank you